Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be talking about SCP-131, also known as the iPods. Now, don't let the name fool you, these little guys are anything but your typical music playing devices. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of these peculiar SCP containment items. No special safety procedures are needed for SCP-131-A and SCP-131-B. They are allowed to move around Site-19 as long as they don't try to enter restricted areas or leave the facility. It's okay for personnel to have casual contact with them, but it's best to keep it to a minimum to prevent the creatures from becoming too attached. Someone needs to keep track of where they are at all times, and if they can't be found, it's considered a level 1 lockdown situation. Any mistreatment of the subjects will be met with serious consequences. SCP-131, also known as the iPods, are creatures with the intelligence of common house cats. They are incredibly curious and spend most of their time rolling around the facility, observing personnel and other safe class SCPs. The subjects communicate with each other through a high-pitched babbling that cannot be translated. Additionally, they have never been observed blinking, even when monitored for over 18 consecutive hours. The subjects respond well to affection and bond quickly with those who show them kindness, similar to the way a puppy bonds with a human. Once bonded, they will follow the individual or object anywhere, even into restricted areas. While they are curious, they also have the ability to sense danger in their surroundings. If their bonded companion approaches something they perceive as dangerous, such as Euclid or Keter class objects, they will swarm around them and babble in a panicked tone as if to warn them. Due to the potential distractions and dangers posed by bonding with the subjects, staff at Site-19 are advised to avoid forming bonds with them. Despite their curious nature, the subjects do not require any care or maintenance from site staff. They do not eat, produce droppings, or sleep. It appears that the only sustenance they require is visual stimulation, although further study is needed to verify this. SCP-131-A and SCP-131-B were discovered in a cornfield and transported to Site-19. After it was determined that they were not a threat, they were downgraded to safe class and given freedom to roam the site. During an incident on, date, SCP-131 subjects followed a cleaning staff into the containment area of SCP-173. Despite attempts to warn the cleaner of the danger, the creatures entered the containment area in front of him and two other personnel. Once inside, the staff observed the subjects sitting in front of SCP-173 and watching it intently, seemingly aware that it could only move if unobserved. The cleaning crew ignored the subjects and proceeded with their cleaning as usual. When they left, the subjects rolled backward slowly, never taking their eyes off SCP-173. There is consideration for using SCP-131-A and SCP-131 B as wardens for SCP-173 and possibly other SCPs requiring constant observation. <laughs>